Well, it's very exciting for me to be here uh, today and to speak to all of you. Uh, it's incredible. I've been, uh, I was last in Israel for the 80th birthday of Shimon Peres. And uh, it's incredible to see how the country changes and evolves even that short period of time. Uh, the number of different uh, tech leaders and innovators I've uh, met here over this conference has uh, grown uh, well above to even the large number that were here the last time I was in Israel. And uh, the amount of great work, innovation that's going on has really excelled. Uh, we've recently opened up, uh, well in the past few years, we've opened uh, our uh, Israel offices in both Haifa and Tel Aviv and uh, it has been producing uh, fantastic new products. Both of them have been producing fantastic new products for, uh, for Google and for all internet users. So anyhow, it's an honor to be here. I want... Uh, I want to start by start discussing the future of the internet uh, by going back a little into the past and when I started using the internet or even more recently the, uh, the World Wide Web uh, in 1993 uh, when the Mosaic browser first came along. Has anyone here ever used Mosaic? I mean, all right, wow, look at that. Everybody is uh, very advanced in Israel. Relatively few people have. It was the first uh, browser that supported images and uh, at the time having pictures in your web pages was a big innovation. Uh, there were relatively few websites. In fact, uh, when you would upgrade your browser to the latest version, you would kind of just go and look at the list of websites and, and there would be a monthly version that would come out and it would say these are the new websites for the month. And it would be, you know, like this uh, elementary school has put up a website, there's this fish tank, uh, there's a soda machine online. Anybody check the CMU soda machine? That was very popular. Oh, we had one hand. Anybody else? That's it. Not so many people. You could, I mean, I wasn't at Carnegie Mellon or anything, but I was still fascinated to see their inventory of Coca Cola and the temperature was at and whatnot. <laughs> Anyhow, as you can imagine, uh, the, uh, the web has changed a lot since those days from uh, a handful of sites. In fact, in those early days, the search engine wouldn't have made much sense at all. Uh, because you just had a list of websites. Those were all the sites you could go to. Uh, but today, uh, we've obviously all seen the tremendous growth of the internet, uh, the incredible uh, number and diversity of sites and services. And uh, it's really been the communal effort of uh, millions or even billions of people uh, and uh, millions of companies. And that's I think what really makes the internet very successful. It's the frictionless coming together of so many different people, organizations and businesses. And I think this is also a sign of what's to come. I think uh, as we've seen uh, in the early days it was, it was actually very easy to put up your own uh, website and uh, because all kind of normal Unix computers, uh, you would typically have a web server running on it, you would just put a file in directory and that would be that. And uh, in an interim period it was a little bit challenging because uh, most people have Windows machines, they didn't necessarily have built in web server, they weren't online all the time anyway. Uh, but we've returned to that now uh, and thanks to websites such as uh, MySpace for example which is represented here, uh, sites like Wikipedia, uh, the internet now has accelerated its growth uh, thanks to the contributions of such a huge number of people all around the world. Now any such technology, uh, it can be used for good power purposes, bad purposes, stupid purposes uh, and, uh, and you see all that diversity on, on the internet and uh, I think when people look from uh, overall to assess the success of the internet, it is easy to, uh, to focus on uh, an extreme case here or there, very bad uses. Uh, but ultimately it's hard to deny uh, how life has changed and the ease from which 
you know, many of us are here from other countries, uh, yet we hop online, we can book our airplane tickets back, we can, uh, we can communicate very easily with all of our friends uh, abroad instantly, and we can, uh, we can publish and create content and uh, report back on our experiences. And perhaps so there are some people in the audience doing that right now. I don't know. Anybody live blogging here? All right, look at that. Oh, I better, I should have thought more carefully about what I was going to say. Uh, I, I think going forward, we're going to see an acceleration of this ease of communicating. Uh, and I think we're going to see, I hope that communicating with people, finding out information, uh, knowing everything that ought to be relevant to you at a certain point of time, uh, will be almost as easy as just thinking about it. Just the way that we can access our uh, thoughts, our own memories, incredibly easily and swiftly. And just like when we stand and talk to each other, uh, we communicate trivially and communicate a wide range of emotions and uh, through body language and verbal cues, things like that. Uh, I think you're going to see the evolution of the internet proceed in that direction. And devices such as the improved cell phones and other mobile devices that you have on you all the time, uh, I think we will be increasingly more connected. I know lots of people find that frightening, uh, but it, it is just like your phone. Oh, actually, just like your phone. You're supposed to turn it off. I guess I should go to mine. Should remind all. Of, well, this is a good opportunity for me to remind everybody else to turn theirs off. See, you'll see, I'm doing your job for you. All right, there we go. Uh, just like the cell phones, you can turn it off and, uh, and it's important to also not be swamped by information all the time. So, by the way, how much time? I have a clock in front of me. Is this just for me? But you can, you can uh, give some uh, minutes for the sake of humanity. And, uh, all right, all right. I think I'll, I'll wrap up pretty quickly, give some minutes for the sake of humanity and also I want to make sure uh, that we get lots of time for the other speakers here. Uh, in short, I think that we're just at the tip of an iceberg right now uh, and that the, uh, the kinds of improvements to quality of life uh, that we've seen in the past, uh, call it 15 years since Mosaic came out, uh, is just a hint of what's to come. And it falls upon all of us, all of our companies, to make sure that the future uh, becomes easier to use, accessible to everyone all around the world. Uh, right now, most people are still not connected uh, and truly enables the power of the human spirit. So thank you all very much.